helper of mine, terribly lazy. He's becoming more trouble than he's Citizen, welcome to Old Villador. Ready for some shopping? Center. Make sure you step back. Check this. Check this. I'm sure you'll see something you like. Something's not adding up. Just what I would have suggested. Tell everyone you know about me. Nah, I'm fine with those supplies. Oh, oh, that's okay. It's too tight. Get over here already. I love conducting business at the Metro. PK's gonna envy your purchases, that's for sure. What can I get for you? Adios, amigo. It's high time command deals with the- Peter wants me to find Lucas's murderer. Only then will he help me get to the center. I'm doing his dirty work. Well, that's no surprise. He told me to start with the bazaar. <sighs> Figures. PK and the bazaar really hate each other. Only two people matter at the bazaar. One is that overblown preacher, Carl. I know that. Who else is there? Sophie. His right hand. She has a way with the bazaar's more rebellious souls. Helps him keep control. There's also Dodger, a local gangster. He knows what's going on, and about the bandits led by Joe. But they're afraid of the PK. Okay, I'll talk to Sophie and you look into Carl, unless... Do you prefer the girl? Sophie? Uh, she's not really my type, you know? And headstrong. She's... you'll see. to this place with my kids before the fall. It used to be beautiful.
Got a headache? Use herbs. Fever, herbs, diarrhea? You're on your own, friend. Hey, who the fuck are you? Easy, Chief. He ain't PK. How do you know? They're creeping around here all the time. He's that outsider, the pilgrim. What? He's from outside the walls. Well, fuck me. I don't know what brings you here, but watch your back, Pilgrim, and stay away from the PKs. They ain't no one's friends. This time with a biomarker. Carl said if you show up to bring you round so he can introduce himself. What a nice change from wanting to hang me. <laughs> Humanity created a civilization that turned out to be a colossus on clay legs. We cannot make the same mistakes. He didn't want to, he had to. You were a threat to everyone. Of course. Do not listen to the ideologies preached by fools calling for reconstruction. There will be no rebuilding. Who would have thought? A pilgrim in the bazaar. Welcome. Yeah, I'm still alive, despite your best efforts. It's clear to me you're holding a grudge. But if you were in my shoes, you would understand. We are responsible for the safety of our community. And we treat this seriously. That's why we did what we did. I hope you can forgive us. So, pray tell. What's it like in the outside world these days? bad and getting worse. Settlements are shrinking in size and number. I'm afraid soon there will be nowhere else to go. Doesn't surprise me, son. Humanity must reach the bottom in order to rise again. And this is why we are here. Any more news? Not really. But uh, why don't you tell me more about your people? We are called the people of the bazaar, simply because of where we live. But who we are truly are free people. Free from lies, free from money, free from religion, wars, politics, and the dark cloud that has blanketed the earth. That sounds great. Too good to be true, in fact. Oh, we have our challenges. Water is scarce, for example. But with courage and patience, we will someday create a paradise. Well, you seem almost thankful for the collapse of civilization. It was as tragic as it was inevitable. Consumerism, belief in the almighty dollar led to this catastrophe. So, we here strive not to make the same mistake twice. It would be a crime. We want to create a new order based on social bonds, on family and community. A society where people support each other and adhere to justice. No need for the police, military, or false authorities to shoot those they are meant to protect. We have a place for everyone. But let's get back to your stories. Is gossip all you want from me, Carl? No. But you came from outside, and you're walking around my flock. So, to set things straight, I need to know if you're a sheep or a wolf. What are you, then? <sighs> a sheep. I'm no threat to you. That's exactly what a wolf would say. You know what? I think it's time I set things straight, too. I'm looking for Sophie. Are you? And why, pray tell? Got a 
package for? No, you don't. Excuse me? Sophie knows no one outside of Villador. She was born and raised here. That's probably why she cares about this place so much. She's of great help to me. So, unless it's a package from across the street, I'll have to call your bluff. Who says I'm bluffing? I do. I could tell a mile away. But all right. I'll tell you where she is. And you know why? Why? Because whatever it is you want, even if your intentions are hostile, she'll handle you. We will handle you. Just as we handled you before, Pilgrim. Go that way. You'll see a giant of a man. That's Herman, Sophie's bodyguard. She won't be far. Thanks. Wasn't that hard, was it? Don't lie to me again, Pilgrim. After all, I'm not lying to you, am I? Just want you to return the courtesy. When one of us is killed, they barely notice. But when their commander's killed, they turn the place upside down. <clears throat> Sophie, can we talk? <clears throat> Don't hurt him, Herman. Let him talk. <clears throat> My name's Aiden. You're that pilgrim that came to town recently. You're sure well informed. Don't have much of a choice. I'm in charge of safety here. Besides, yesterday you made quite an entrance. I'm looking for a job. Would you happen to know of any? Hmm. People here say you can be useful. I'd rather see for myself. How about a small errand first? Uh, what are you proposing? Go to one of the craftmasters. Alberto or Vincenzo. Both know the location of the purest crystals. I need some for a certain transaction. Alberto and Vincenzo? Tell me more about them. A father and son duo. Alberto, the father, tends to yammer on. Before zero hour, he had a workshop on piles of cash. Vincenzo, his son, kind of shy. They're both craftsmen, clever too. The kind that can make a watch out of old gum and a piece of string. You said you were in charge of safety at the bazaar. What does that mean exactly? It means any PK who threatens our community of free people can count on me breaking his skull. Oh, from the way Carl talked, you sounded more like pacifists. We're trying to overturn the old ways and usher in a new era for humanity. It's a true revolution. And every revolution needs two things to succeed. Ideology, and an armed faction to enforce it. A certain transaction? Is that anything I need to know about? Curiosity is the first step on the road to hell, Carl says. <laughs> Do you believe that? I believe in not trusting strangers, and that's who you are, so far at least. Bring me the location of the crystals first. We'll see where we go from there. Those crystals, what's the deal with them? They were created by the chemical bombings of the city. A byproduct of some sort. People believe the infection spreads slower if you wear them. Honestly, I don't think it does. But there's no harm in trying. And that's why they're so important to you guys? That and many other reasons. They're hard to get, difficult to destroy, and easy to get obsessed with. Because they're so pretty, right? But most importantly, they real tangible things. Way more real than a piece of paper and old money. That's why they're so bloody expensive. Fine. I'll go talk to one of those craft masters. They should be at the bazaar. Do well, and we can think about giving you bigger jobs. You. Yeah, you. Look. I'm Damien. Aiden. You're new here, right? Does it make a difference? I pride myself on knowing everyone in this dump, but I don't know you. Maybe that's because I just got into the city. For reals? Well, wow. respect. I heard that outside the walls, it's... A bloodbath. What does this have to do with the job? 
Nothing, my friend. Just sussing you out. And I like what I've sussed so far. But about the job. First and foremost, it'll require a certain amount of discretion on your part. You'll be doing business for my partners, and it's their business only. No one else's. Head on over to meet them in West Quarry End. They'll fill you in on the details. Understood. I'll go report to them. <laughs> Don't keep them waiting. Don't look at me like that. I'm just giving you information. Just fairy tales if you ask me. And just between us, you won't regret it. Back in the day, I had a huge... Have you seen a ginger? A massive... The bastard stole my uh, last bottle. Well... And... Uh, hey there. A workshop, Dad. Yes, a workshop. So where is it? You're not in one now, Alberto. This is a family lunch. Sophie sent me. She says you know where they can find some crystals. Oh, for fox! <laughs> They've already sent one of their f f f f f f fuckwits. Who? That. Fellow, Sophie's brother. Huh? What was the asshole's name? Barney. The asshole's name is Barney. And he asked the same question about a dark zone with crystals. Yeah, that's news to me. So where is that dark zone? It's a hundred... Uh, 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 a hundred and twenty... Uh, a hundred and... <laughs> Dad, can I tell him? Oh, please. A hundred meters from the metro, there's a big sign, Fashion Store, and a windmill on the other side of the street. Uh, thanks. Here, I sell the real deal. Haven't seen my kids in months because of this ridiculous blockade in the center. Seriously, there's no time for delay. I keep telling everyone we should be getting ready for winter. Well, what did you find? I know the location, but I was told your brother asked about it already. Herman! See if Barney turned on his radio. Barney? Answer me. Barney! Damn. So that's why he's gone offline. He's looking for the crystals on his own. And throwing a wrench in the works yet again. This isn't the first time, I gather. No. He's always trying to prove himself. Last time, he got wounded. Wasn't that long ago, either. A fucking kid. I'll kill him. I'll just kill him. Why blame yourself? We all make our own beds. Listen. You said it yourself. You're new here. So you don't know much. I'm responsible for security here. And he's my brother. I promised I'd look after him. You promised? Promised who? Never mind. I'll kick Barney's ass when he gets back. How'd Barney get wounded? He didn't want to tell me. My guess is that the PK's got a hold of him. Your brother keeps secrets from you? That's none of your business. Barney, answer me! Damn it all to hell! If he went to a dark zone in his condition, he's a goner. I can try to track him down. <laughs> you? I've been in the dark zone before. In the GRE hospital. St. Joseph Hospital? Really? If you save him, you won't regret it. We still have some time. Barney will likely wait till dusk. Going into a dark zone during the day is suicide. Just bring him back home safe. I'll do my best. Good luck.
Hello? Anybody there? Damien sent me. Hello? What do you want? Damien sent me. He said you have work here. Wrong address, bud. But I just talked to him. Damien, he sent me here. You alone? Why do you ask? Because we're not letting in tour groups. Nothing personal. It's just, you know, we're careful people. So I'll ask again. Are you alone? Yeah, I'm alone. You'd better be. Now get in and head downstairs. They'll explain everything. Didn't you hear what I said? Get downstairs. Maiden, Damien sent me. I'm uh, here for the job. Right. So, you're new around here. Damien asked that too. What difference does it make? Boss asked a question. Now, I'm still trying to figure out why I'm here. Yeah, you're the one dancing around the subject. Okay. Let's talk about the job then. To do it, it's best that you're not all that well-known around the bazaar. Well, I wouldn't say I'm all that well-known. That's good. That's very good. Looks like we finally found our missing person. Wait, wait what are you talking about? What do you want from me? Let's just say we work for someone that's dying to meet you. Except he won't be the one dying, I don't think. <clears throat> Call him in, boys. <clears throat> <clears throat> Did you die? God, you asshole. You set me up. What? No, no, no. I, I swear, I, I would never. I, I was just doing my job, scouting. 
It's my job! Who are these people? And why were they looking for me? I don't know, Aiden. You gotta believe me. Please! They just told me to send them anyone who seemed new. They didn't tell me why. I don't have any other choice but to do as they say. They have anything to do with Lucas's death. What? No. I mean... God, I... I hope not. That would be... terrible. But I swear, I don't know. So you've sent others before me, and, and then they've all been murdered? God, what have you done, Damien? I didn't know. At first. But I couldn't do anything about it once I found out. I couldn't. How many, Damien? How many people have you sent to their death? Stop it, Aiden, stop! I'm sorry! I had to! I'm trapped! Believe me! They have my brother! Your brother? I talk, fast. They took him and threatened to kill him if I didn't do what they said. I just figured, if I did good, they'd eventually release him. I'm being played. And I'm tired of it. I just want my brother back. Will you help me find him? You sent me to the slaughter, and now I'm supposed to forget that and help you find your brother. You're mad. I get it. But look at it this way. He may have heard why they're looking for you. If he could tell you, wouldn't you want to find him? <sighs> All right, fine then. But you better pray that he knows something. Not here. signs of cliff here. Damn it. You don't think they... He's not... He's not dead. Is he? Don't jump to conclusions. But where could they be keeping him? Damn it. This is all my fault. I'm such a fool. Sending people here? Yeah, that's on you. As for your brother, I'm not certain. Where did you last see him? We were in East Quarry and close to Devil's Bridge when they attacked us. They took him hostage and have been using me to carry out their orders ever since... I only did this to keep my brother alive, Aiden. I didn't know others would die when this started. What's Devil's Bridge? It's the name of this building in the middle. But then times changed and no one believed. Before the virus. And I guess I'll... Aiden. Not a chance. I'm doing this so that no one else dies. I know I didn't exactly make a good impression. Please save him. Dodge the green 
expected there. 26 plus 82, 108 steps, plus the 31, 12, 72, 25, 
Damien? Damien? Nah, I'm Cliff. Wow, resemblance is uncanny. Guards! Wait, stop. Damien sent me. How did you escape? Escape? I have no reason to escape, man. Wait, so you're not... You're working with them, aren't you? Well, duh. Listen, Cliff, what I really want to know right now is about the murder of Commander Lucas. The PK commander? What about him? Did you or your people kill him? No fucking way. We're not suicidal. Anyway, we got bigger fish to fry. Like you, for instance. Who, me? What the hell do you mean? You and Damien haven't figured it out? Oh, well. I love my brother, but he's a dope. Always has been. You tricked your brother to send innocent men to their deaths because you wanted to find me? Waltz can run it all down for you himself. Or rather, for what you've got from Dylan. Wait, Waltz? Where is he? Dunno. They haven't filled me in on all the details yet. Aiden? You there? Have you found Cliff? Yes. But well, you won't like it. Damien, bro. Unfortunately, now's not a good time to chat. And as for you, you finally found Dr. Walsh. Downside, he's found you. That's him, fellas. The one who took the doc's toy. Cliff? Fuck! What? What are you saying? The doc's got him. Eat this, motherfucker! Ugh! <laughs> 
Damien! Come on, man. Are you still there? Come in, Damien. Can you hear me? Ader. Did the lead pan out? No. Dead end. I'm not surprised. What can you do? I'll keep digging. himself in the tower. Any other way into the tower? Not really. Not by ordinary means. People have tried to climb the wall, but those who have usually end up getting scraped off the ground. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. in the bus. 
Sar. <laughs> if I were him, I'd clear out before he pisses people off. I'll kill him. When I die, I want to be burned to ashes scattered on the street. And the rest of my family. Just wanted to show you. No more to say. Not if someone could get to Lucas. Whoever killed him must have been very strong. So it couldn't have been a coincidence. Damien! Stop or I jump! Wait! Okay. I've stopped. Relax, Damien. Let's both relax. What do you want? To talk. About what? I don't know. About life? Fuck you. That's what you hung up on. That you're alive and so many aren't now because of you. Damien? I killed them. All of them. Look, man, it was a bad deal all around. You aren't evil. Okay, you were trying to save your brother. They backed you into a corner. But my brother is one person. One person. But I've killed so many. No. Sent them to be killed. You didn't kill them yourself. What choice did you have? Believe me, I've done plenty of bad in the name of good. And then... Just plain bad. But I'm not an evil person. And neither are you, Damien. I am. I could have found another way. But did I try? I can't close my eyes without seeing the face of every kid. I said, hey, you're new around here, too. They're all dead. And now so is my brother. Because of me. 
I can't take it anymore. Sure you can. You can prove how strong you really are. Live your life. And use each day to make it right. It's too much to fix. I can't. I, it could never be enough. I'm sorry, Aiden. Make room. I'm jumping with you. Are you crazy? Why not? We can go together. Now it's one more death added to your tab. Why would you... No, you would never... Try me. Jump. Go on. Jump. I'll be right behind. You ever hear that most jumpers change their minds mid-air? Uh, no. It's true. They're falling and think, oh, fuck. Maybe this actually wasn't the smartest thing I've done in my life. Soon my head's gonna smash open like a watermelon, and I'll writhe around with no control over my arms and legs, and beg for someone to finish me off. But nobody's gonna finish you off here, Damien. Except maybe the infected. They'll eat you foot to forehead, Damien. Slowly. I'm going. See you on the ground. Wait! Let's talk. About what? I... I, I don't know. About life? Maybe. Sure. But I guess I don't have a life anymore. All the guys that died, they died because... And quit being a broken record, will ya? You'll get over it. Now pull yourself the fuck together and back away from that ledge. Or you really will fall. You feel bad about those deaths? That's great. It means you got a conscience. There's not many left in this town with a conscience. But you got one. And that's why you should live. To make up for what you did. There will always be time to jump. Tomorrow. Day after. No rush. Look, I won't stop you. But keep this in mind. Like I said before. Make it right. Keep living. At least till you make it right. So. How many deaths do you think you're responsible for? Don't make me say it, Aiden. Eight, maybe. Eight? Even better. Better? Yeah, because now you have to save eight lives. Deal? But... You gotta balance those scales, Damien. Do we have a deal? Deal. Smart move. I better not regret this. You won't. I got a job for you. Hey, that's my line. <laughs> How about that? Damien's got a sense of humor. Gallows humor, I guess. It seems appropriate, all things considered. Aiden? Yeah? Thanks. No problem. I saved your life, kid. Now don't fuck it up, okay? <sighs> Jesus, Damien. What's up with you? Were you about to jump? I was, but Aiden... What's with this? It's all my fault business. Talk to me. Yeah, the people from the bazaar. My brother... Wait, hold up. Don't confuse yourself again, Damien. Just relax and shut up for now. Wait, he was just talking about killing people or something. What's going on here? And the kid just found out his brother died. He's in shock, babbling nonsense. You cut the man some slack, will you? Have a heart. Fuck. Cliff's dead. No wonder he's all torn up. I get it now. My sympathies, Damien. You can talk to me whenever you want. <laughs>